Oh, this traffic is ridiculous. Michael, we have got to add one more lane, bro. Well, actually, it's just one more lane, Michael. How much could it cost? Four million dollars? More like four hundred million dollars. And I hate to break it to you, but that stretch of road is so congested that there is no way that one more lane is going to actually fix the problem. What? You're adding more capacity, which means that the traffic can flow more freely. If there was another lane right now, I would already be there. Sure, but that's assuming that the number of cars stays the same after after you widen it, how often do you use that highway? Oh, I avoid it like the plague, like any sensible person, but of course I would love to take it every day to go to my favorite cold pressed juice store. Exactly. It's all here in the supply and demand graphs. We add a lane, which increases the supply and decreases the cost in terms of travel time, road rage, general feelings of helplessness, etc., and traffic gets a little bit better. But then the people who've been avoiding it start using it every day, like you going to your juice place, and then bada bing bada boom, traffic's back. So now we're down $400 million plus annual maintenance costs, we've displaced homes and businesses, and we have not fixed the problem. More cars are stuck in traffic, but that also means that more cars are getting through because there's another lane. Yeah, but that might be enough to justify the cost to you, but it's not a solution to the problem that you're saying you want to solve. In a couple of years, when it gets backed up again, are we gonna have this conversation again? Are we going to widen again? When will it end? What's, what's just hopeless? We're gonna die like this? Well, we could invest in bike lanes and public transit so that we give people who don't want to drive other options. That that means that there's fewer cars on the road and less traffic for you. Ah, uh, you want the shorter term solution. Well, you can take high volume stretches of road and implement tolled areas or lanes. It's relatively inexpensive to do and it helps prevent the cost from plunging and the demand from surging back up. These programs are called congestion pricing and dozens of cities across the US and the world use them and people tend to like the results. Ooh, that, I like that. B but the bike lanes, 